Hi everyone and welcome to day 13 of our lockdown yoga series. My name's Claudia and I'll be taking you through today's practice. So today is going to be a nice and gentle class where we won't do any standing postures. We will remain either seated or lying down on our mats. It might be handy to have a strap for today's class or if you don't have a strap, maybe a scarf or in my case, all I could find was a skipping rope, so I'm going to do that just to help you with a few postures. It's not compulsory, you will be absolutely fine without, but it might just be handy to have that. Okay, let's begin. So today we're going to begin lying down on our backs. So come to your mats and come into a comfortable lying down position on the floor. Straighten your legs, let your feet fall out for a moment. Have your arms by your sides, maybe palms facing up. Close your eyes and just take a nice deep breath. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling. One more time, inhale through the nose and exhale. Try and make your inhalations and exhalations equal length if you if you can one more time inhale and exhale and then when you're ready bend your knees and bring your knees into your chest nice and loose to start with have your hands over your knees and just rock along the spine explore how your lower back and your hips are feeling today and then maybe start drawing your knees a little bit closer into your chest when you're ready, so nice and gentle. And you can continue having your hands over your knees or maybe you want to go a little bit further and wrap your arms around your knees and grab hold of your elbows and keep rocking side to side. Brilliant. From here, keep your right knee into your chest and just place your left foot down on the floor. You can keep your left knee bent for the time being. Interlace your hands behind your right thigh and on an inhale, see if you can stretch your right leg up. And then just point and flex your toe. Do a couple of circles with your foot one way and then the other. And then this is where you can have a strap if you need to, so you can place your strap around your foot to help you straighten the legs. So keep your right toes flexed if you can. And you can continue having your left knee bend, or if you want a slightly deeper stretch, maybe you can straighten your left leg. You'll start to feel the opening in your left hip flexor as well. Take an inhale and on an exhale, see if you can bring your right foot, right leg a little bit closer to your body. And then open your left hand out to the side, have your strap in your right hand. Take an inhale and on an exhale, see if you can open your right leg out to the right. So just as far as comfortable, feel the stretch in your right inner thigh here. If you haven't got a strap, you can always just hold on to your leg. Take an inhale here and on an exhale, come back to centre and then place your strap in your left hand. Open your right arm out to the side and again, you can just hold on to your leg. If you haven't got a strap, take an inhale and on an exhale, see if you can bring your right leg to the left side now. So stretching the IT band something that I don't stretch very often in my yoga classes. So it's a nice little stretch for the leg. Inhale and then exhale, come back to center. Release the strap, rebend your right knee, bring it into your chest. And see if you can just start bringing it in a little bit closer. Take an inhale. And then on an exhale, see if you can start opening your right knee out to the side and bringing it closer to your right shoulder. If this is uncomfortable for your left leg, you can always rebend the left knee. 
and then see if you can grab hold of the outer edge of your right foot and just open your right leg out to the side so we're in this half happy baby pace so we're trying to bring the right knee down towards the floor if, if it doesn't reach the floor it doesn't really matter but we're just trying to open up the hips here and then inhale bring your knee back to center open your right hand out to the sides take an inhale and on an exhale take a spinal twist to the left so bring your right knee over to the left side just as far as comfortable again and you can maybe gaze towards your right fingertips here try and keep the right shoulder on the mat take a nice deep breath here and then bring your right knee into your chest and then release and we'll switch sides so have your right foot down on the floor you can have your right knee bent to start with and then bring your left knee into your chest and to lace your hands behind your left thigh and just straighten your left leg towards the sky if it doesn't straighten all the way you can always have a little bend in your left knee that's not a problem at all just explore the flexibility of the back of your left leg today and then just point and flex your toes towards the ceiling or the sky maybe do a couple of circles with your foot one way and then the other if you hear a few clicks that's absolutely fine as long as it's not painful and then grab your strap if you've got one and place your strap over your left foot if you haven't got a strap just keep holding on to the back of the leg stay here or maybe you can straighten your right leg for a bit of a deeper stretch Take an inhale on an exhale, see if you can bring your right, your left leg a little bit closer to your body. Take an inhale and then place your strap into your left hand, open your right arm out to the side and on an exhale open your left leg out to the left, just as far as comfortable for you. And then inhale, come back to center and switch sides. So have your right hand over your strap, left arm out to the side, take an inhale and on an exhale, start bringing your left leg to the right. Oh, I really feel it in my left leg today. Deep inhalations here. If at any point it feels too much, just back out, come up into a if at any point it feels like too much, just back out. One more inhale and then come back to center. Release the strap and then rebend the left knee. Bring your knee a little bit closer to your chest if you can. Take an inhale and then on an exhale, start opening it out to the left. So drawing your left knee towards your left shoulder deep breathing you can always rebend the right knee if you need to and then see if you can grab hold of the outer edge of your left foot and open that foot out to the side so we're trying to bring the left knee towards the floor if possible one more inhale and then come back to center Open your left arm out to the side one more time. Have your right hand on your left knee and start bringing that left knee across to the right. So taking a spinal twist, nice and gentle. Left shoulder is on the floor. You can maybe gaze towards your left fingertips. One more inhale. And then exhale, come back to center. Bring your left knee into your chest and then release. Rebend your knees, have your feet flat on the mat and then bring your right foot over your left knee or the area just above your left kneecap and using your right hand push your right knee out to the side so your shin becomes parallel with the front edge of the mat. Feel the opening in your right hip here. 
You can stay here for a few breaths or if you want to, start bringing your left knee a bit closer to your body, maybe interlace your hands under your left thigh, maybe over your left shin, whatever feels right for you today, for the hip. So the closer you bring your left knee into your body, the more stretch you should feel in your right hip here. And try and keep your right toes nice and flexed to protect the right knee. And take nice deep breaths here. Feel the stretch in your right hip. One more inhale. And then exhale, release. And we'll switch sides. So have your right foot flat on the mat. Bring your left foot over your right knee and then just use your left hand to gently open your left knee out to the side. Feel the opening in your left hip. Take an inhale, stay here or maybe start bringing your right knee closer towards you. Have your hands over your the back of your right thigh or maybe over your right shin. Wherever feels good for you today. And take nice deep breaths. Again, try and keep your left toes flexed to protect your left knee. You can close your eyes if you want to. Nice deep breathing. Focus your attention on where the stretch feels most intense. Take an inhale. And on an exhale, see if you can release the tension. One more breath in and then release. And from here we're going to roll onto your right side and come into a seated position with the legs crossed. On an inhale, lift your arms up, stretch through the fingertips. Exhale, left hand to your right knee, right hand behind you, twisting to the right. One more breath. And then exhale, come back to centre, inhale, lift your arms up and exhale, right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you, twisting to the left. One more inhale and then exhale, come back to centre, lift your arms up, stretch, exhale, right hand down to the floor, left arm over your left ear, side bend to the right, try and keep your sit bones on the floor. On an exhale, come back to centre, inhale, lift your arms up, stretch. And exhale, go the opposite way, so left hand down, right arm over your right ear, side bend to the left. Exhale, come back to centre, inhale, lift your arms up, stretch. Join the palms together and bring your hands back down through the heart centre. Have them in prayer in front of your chest. Take an inhale and exhale. And then bring your hands over your knees, tuck your chin, close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling. And just like at the beginning of the practice, try and make your inhalations and exhalations the same length. And from here, you're more than welcome to lie down on your mat and take a quick shavasana if you've got the time. Otherwise, thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope this was okay. Do subscribe to my channel and let me know what you thought of this class in comments. And I hope to see you on day four.